me about the bailout plan. Well, you know, I think this bailout plan has to be for the people who are a little concerned about health care, you know, because I think that people have a right to be concerned about health care because health care is an important issue. And that's why John McCain is addressing health care with his plan for health care for people who are concerned about health care also. It has to be all about job creation also. You know, I think that jobs are a very important part of the United States economy, and so our United States economy needs jobs, and we will give jobs to the American economy also. Well, um, I think my audience would like to know, what type of uh, magazine or periodicals do you read? Well, when I get back to Whistle, I'll grab a few and give them to you. Well, actually, can you just tell us what are the names, you know, of the magazines and newspapers do you read? I'll get back to you on that one. Okay, um, according to um, your earlier statement, um, you mentioned that your foreign policy experience, can you elaborate on that? Foreign policy experience, you know, I think that this gotcha journalism is kind of really sort of out to get us hard-working, mavericky mavericks who are working. <laughs> it's really ridiculous sometimes how hard they work just to find things that they can say and take out of context from what we say and put into their newspapers and little TV shows, you know. So I have a lot of foreign policy experience in the arena of foreign policy, and I have experience from that area. Well, according to the government document that you didn't get your passport until almost last year, can you tell us how come you have not visit visit head of state? So can you name names? Are you friends with anybody? You know, actually, as you may have noticed in the news, I was actually visiting some heads of state. Uh, that Zardari guy uh, from Pakistan, some other leaders from around the world. You know, at the United Nations place in. Uh, New York City. Great place. So I do have a lot of foreign policy experience actually and at that passport thing I know that a lot of us normal working class Americans we know that a lot of us don't have that opportunity and privilege to get our passports at an early age. Can you tell me um, about your position um, in um, actually uh, about abortion. Well, I think that this should be a matter to be up to the states. You know, I think that the states should decide this one. What is your personal position on this? Well, I believe in preserving all life. Which means life start from? Yes, and I am very respectful and tolerant of people who do not agree with my positions, but I agree with my positions and I will do my best to see that in the McCain administration, a general respect of all life is definitely upheld. What's your position on current education? Or what's your view on your United States education system? We are ranked number 25 among all industrialist country. I mean, what do you think? Well, you know, I think that we have some of the greatest teachers here in the United States, but their skills are not being utilized. So we need to encourage teachers to act better so that acting better will become more conducive to better acting in a school also. What is your position on job creation and also on the role of the government? Well, you know, 
as Joe Biden said, he said that it was patriotic to pay more taxes. You know, I don't agree. Us hard-working, working-class Americans who work hard, we know that it can sometimes be a struggle just to pay taxes as high as they are already. That's why in a McCain administration, we'll get some tax cuts that can help us put food on the table for our families. And that means that you, working-class Americans, Joe Sixpacks and hockey moms across the country, will be better off in general also. Job creation. Well, I think that job creation is a very important part of the United States economy. In fact, it's so important that I'm going to spell it out. J-O-B-S. Jobs. Jobs. Also. Hunting. <laughs> Are you a avid hunter? Is that true? You know, I'm just laughing because your question is so wonderful. I love hunting. You know, I, I try to go out at least every week or sometime every at least every month and I have my gun and I shoot a few moose, maybe a few wolves, you know, maybe a few mice, maybe a few little rats, maybe a few small bugs, pill bugs. So I use my rifle really to shoot down a diversity of life. Hmm. <laughs> How about gun control? Do you think we should have gun control in this country? <laughs> Again, I'm just laughing because <laughs> your country, <laughs> your question, pardon me, is just wonderful. You know, on gun control, I think the United States government has really been way too, it's sort of edging its foot in there. And I think that, you know, from my experience in Alaska also, the everyday working people I know, they use guns not only for their everyday life and shooting as a way of life, but also for self-defense. So I think it's very important for us working class Americans to keep our basic rights in gun ownership. Do you think that you're ready for being a president? For God's sake, you know, something happens to John McCain, hopefully not. But in case you will be, could be president of the United States, are you ready? Well, God forbid that something ever that horrible should happen. I think that yes, I am ready. I can look Americans in the eye and say, yes, I am ready to be president. What's your qualification to be president of this grandest country in the whole wide world. Well, first of all, I can't agree more that America is just the grandest country in the whole wide world. A truer statement was never said. The grandest country in the whole wide world is America. Thus, America is the grandest country in the whole wide world also. So thank you for bringing that up. You know, one of the things I bring to the table when it comes to my foreign policy credentials, let's start with that, is I think that, you know, Alaska has a very narrow maritime border with Russia. You know, Russia is like over there and Alaska is somewhere. Yeah. So, you know, at any time that Putin guy or med bed bed dev guy could rear their ugly heads and get into our American airspace and you know we're gonna hammer them out until their heads are swollen those are Russian people we don't want them invading our American airspace so we have to keep on a constant alert for that and you know I'm also head of like the uh, Alaskan National Guard so I do have a lot of foreign policy credentials and also I'd like to bring this up is that one of the things I bring to the table also is my credentials in energy my energy credentials or my credentials in energy also I, do you believe in drill 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 you know, I think that we should really tap into some of the resources we have in the United States, you know. It's really a shame that we have so much oil here and so much natural gas that we can use to help everyday working class Americans lower their home heating costs. And my opponents like Joe Biden and uh, Barack Obama, they're saying no, no, no. I say, yes, 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 we want to tap into these resources that America offers us. Instead of buying oil and natural gas at ridiculously high prices from countries that don't like us very much. What do you mean by no second guess? 
if Israel attack. Well, you know, I believe 